Hi, I'm James, a knee, foot and ankle specialist, and today we're going to talk you through all of the conditions that can cause your heel pain first thing in the morning. So first of all, we're going to talk about pain in the back of the heel, and the most common condition that can cause pain here is Achilles tendonitis, and that normally comes in two forms, so that's a mid-portion Achilles tendonitis and an insertion Achilles tendonitis. And the one that's most likely to affect you on the back of the heel is insertion Achilles tendonitis, and that's basically where the Achilles tendon attaches onto the back of the heel bone, wraps around the corner and attaches on the undersurface of the calcaneus bone, also known as the heel bone. And one of the key symptoms for this condition is first thing in the morning that you have pain when you step out of bed, normally for five to 10 minutes or so that eases that when you get moving. And it's normally worse if you've done an increased level of activity the day before. Other conditions that can coexist alongside insertion of Achilles tendonitis is a retrocalcaneal bursitis. So a bursa is a sac full of fluid that sits on the pointy parts of bones in our bodies and they work as a cushion to protect the tendon from rubbing off the bone. If the tendon starts to overload this bursa, it can become inflamed and swollen and that can give us pain when the tendon rubs off it. So sometimes when we step out of bed in the morning, the tendon rubs off the bursa and this often gives us a sharper pain at the back of the heel. Now to normally differentiate between these two conditions, with a retrocalcaneal bursitis, it's typically quite swollen around the back of the ankle, while normally with an insertion of Achilles tendonitis, the tendon itself it can be a little bit thicker, but there's often not any swelling on the back of the ankle itself. One of the rarer conditions that can cause pain on the back of the ankle in the morning is a condition called plantaris tendonitis. That's a little thin tendon that runs alongside the Achilles tendon. It runs on the inside of the ankle, and that's one of the key differentials between that and an insertion of Achilles tendonitis, that the pain is specifically on the inside, gives a similar pattern of pain first thing when we walk in the morning that eases as we get moving. So as we move to underneath the heel, the most common foot pathology that we can get is plantar fasciitis or plantar heel pain as it's referred to. That affects the bundle of tissue that attaches from the heel all the way up the underside and arch of the foot to connect to the ball of the foot. It provides stability to and structure to the underside of our foot and it's often exquisitely tender when we step out of bed in the morning. The pain is most often present on the inner aspect of the under side of the heel although it can be present on the entire undersurface of the heel and that's normally when it coexists with other pathologies. So sometimes when we get plantar heel pain or plantar fasciitis we alter where we put pressure through the heel and that can start to irritate other structures such as the plantar fat pad. So this is a layer of cushioning that's about two centimeters thick and this cushioning essentially protects our bones from hitting off the ground when we walk or run so it's just a little bit of extra padding that can get inflamed similar to the bursa if it gets overloaded. Sometimes it can exist on its own or it can coexist with plantar fasciitis. Another condition that affects that fat pad which is directly underneath the heel is a condition called fat pad atrophy so that's where the fat pad becomes thinner over time. We know there's a higher likelihood of that as we get older. And what we clinically see in these patients is that when normal thickness is about two centimeters anything below one centimeter is considered atrophy of the fat pad and that just means there's a little bit less protection between the heel bone and the ground when you walk and that can just give some sensitivity of the bone. Normally it follows a different pattern to plantar fasciitis in that when we walk in the morning plantar fasciitis starts to improve after 10 minutes or so whereas fat pad atrophy is just sensitive all the time especially when we barefoot walk. So one final condition that can affect the plantar surface or the underside of the heel is the condition called Baxter's nerve entrapment. So one of the key differences with this is sometimes the pain is slightly more towards the inner aspect of the heel and slightly up towards the ankle but it can go down underneath the heel and mimic the presentation of plantar fasciitis. One of the key differences with this is that the pain is usually constant. So you might wake up and before you step out of bed, you can feel your heel pain. And then as you apply pressure to it, as you walk, it compresses that nerve, that Baxter's nerve as it passes underneath the heel and that can irritate your symptoms as well. But again, it shouldn't improve as you walk like a plantar fasciitis does. The pain remains consistent. And as you increase activity levels, often the pain increases also. So the pain is more consistent and generally gets worse with activity whereas plantar fasciitis often works first thing and improves with a little bit of activity. So I hope that's helped you figure out which type of condition might be causing your heel pain in the morning. A lot of these conditions we covered in other videos. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you found the video helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel.